Hi there, I'm Jailo Cardoso, founder of Parajet and Jailo Aerospace, two companies are combined to make this new product, the Explorer. We've never actually come up with a really good, robust flying car yet. Mankind still doesn't have one. We weren't trying to revolutionise the aviation industry or the transport industry. We were creating an adventure vehicle that you can genuinely use, you can keep in a garage at home, drive down the road and take off from the local field. But that's what the Explorer was all about. And we've really achieved that now. My name's Kester Haynes. I've been working on the Explorer project for six years now. I work on the design and development of the car and also as the test pilot. In terms of driving, this buggy is seriously capable off-road. We've got four air suspension shocks, which are really lightweight. Our main focus on this, because it flies and drives, is to keep it really light. We have a RT600 engine, which is a rotary engine. That drives a CVT drive system, so you hit the gas and you go. You can drive at high speed off-road. You can hit the desert, you can go off down a dirt track. And then you can pull into a field, lay out the wing, and it's actually a really easy transition. The rotary engine has drive to the wheels, which can be disengaged with a button on the dashboard. But then when you enter flight mode, you engage the propeller at the back, accelerate. The wing comes up as it catches the airflow from moving forwards. Once the wing is above you and you're central under the wing, you then just keep accelerating with your hands on the steering wheel and the wing does the rest for you. So over 100 horsepower we have in the back of this vehicle. Vibration free, much easier to launch, easier to fly, easier to control. All these things have to come into the mix. It's taken us years of development to get that right, lots of different iterations. But the end result is an engine essentially with twin power outputs, direct drive to both wheels and propeller with the touch of a button. And then actually the way you control the aircraft in the air, rather than using your feet, which was, we had originally had pedals, now we have it just simply through hand controls. There's no extra complications, no mechanics involved. Your hands just come up, and they control the wing in the air above you. And the two things combined with an easier wing to fly and a lighter aircraft make this thing actually something that's really practical for people to get in and just enjoy with minimal training. And that's what this is all about. One of the great things about the way this aircraft flies Everything is in pendulum. So when you accelerate, you climb. When you deaccelerate, you glide. So that is inherently pitch stable. If you let go of the controls, you will literally glide down and land safely, land hands off. That's an amazing factor. It's not going to just nose dive out of control. This thing will land itself. You just point it in the right direction, it will do that job for you. It's a really nice, simple form of flight. It doesn't require hours and hours of training to get out there and experience literally flying a car. This is a truly unique vehicle. This is the first in the world that is road legal, flight legal, and is a brilliant off-roader. Sand dunes, dirt tracks, anywhere, and it's extraordinarily good fun to use. What we've created is a really capable off-road buggy that can fly, so it is really the ultimate tool for adventure. So what's next for the Explorer? We're anticipating a whole new race series being born out of this invention. You can fly over mountains, you can fly over rivers, you can fly to islands. This is a whole new dimension to rallying. You can see the world from a different perspective and be racing people at the same time in different locations all around the world, in countries where you really have an adventure, going to places where you simply can't go with a normal vehicle. And that is seriously exciting.